That's right. It's a Sega CD. That's right. It's Sonic welcome, welcoming us to, to another round with the classic, the classic book turned movie turned video game, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein for the final time. Now, last time I ran into a problem and the problem was that you do not have many healing items in this game. So I got to the end of the game and I had no health. I could not get past the final fights. It was a sad situation. That's right, Sony ImageSoft. Because of you, the creature was stuck at the North Pole, constantly dying. In a, in a cycle of death and rebirth. But you know what occurred to me? It's a very short game. Like, it took me a while to, you know, to figure out what to do. But if you know what to do, it is a very short game. So instead of constantly just, just ramming myself at that one sailor and losing over and over again, we're playing the entire game over again. It's time for a speed run of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Let's go. We're making this happen. Frankenstein, the creature gets born in the lab in Ingolstadt. He has to break out. Here we go. We're doing this. We're doing this now. He has to go in here. Dodge the acid. Now he's gonna get some bread. Okay, how does... Okay, so just to point this out. Health. We have the green health in the upper left, and we have hearts. Now, if I exceed my maximum health, I get another life. So I'm gonna eat this bread. I now have three lives. Uh, I don't get full health, though. It just... Whatever health the bread was going to give me overlaps into the next life. I'm going to pick up this acid. You can see there are spaces for five hearts. And I think if you don't take any damage, I'm, you could probably get that, 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 that much. Like I said, there are not many healing items in the game. But I think there are enough to do it. Now, the chloroform is in here. So is the mutant... I don't think you can get the chloroform and avoid that fight. You don't have to get the chloroform. You could avoid doing this fight, but... We will see why we're getting this. I did not actually use the chloroform the first time I did this. I didn't know what to do with it. I think that is his only special move, by the way. I've tried other inputs, but nothing else seems to do anything. All right. We're going to wake up Victor. And when he comes at us, chloroformed, we avoid that fight entirely. solve puzzles to avoid some fights and try to save on health and like that's the that's the idea of the game is that your health is consistent across the entire game so you're trying to figure out the path that leads to less damage so you have enough health and lives by the end to power through those final fights all right now we have to get out of Ingolstadt. Now we could go north to get a sleeping potion. We did that last time and used it on the jailer. I won't do it this time for some reason. I'll show you why. But we're gonna go in here. And last time I did use this food bag to move a horse. But that didn't really do anything for us. Like it lets us go over here and get this hay, but I didn't use the hay for anything. What is the hay to be used for? 
Let's find out. So something I didn't even do the first time round is it turns out this is a store up here. I didn't realize that was a door. It's a general store. Here's a dog lying by the fire. It's very big, very well-stocked general store. What could we buy from here? Nothing, because that guy wants us to get out of his shop. He kicks us out. How dare he? Look, here's his house. We can't pick up anything from his house, but there is, like, a conspicuous burning candle over here. Let's use the hay. Oh, no! What's happening? What's going on, sir? What's go- I need to get some water. Why, what's happening? His house is on fire. Oh, no, that's a shame. It's a shame how that happened. What an accident. He's- he's not in his store anymore, which means you can go up here and grab this chicken. Chicken leg. No, the chicken leg is not going to come to life, like in the Tim Curry FMV Frankenstein game. That's not what it's for. We can't take anything else. We can only take the chicken leg. But it's all we need. Now, I mentioned the sleeping potion before. We can use it on the jailer. Well, you can just fight your way through the jailer. We didn't actually fight him the first time. Let's fight him now and see what he's like. I'm spoiling for a fight. So we didn't actually see this guy at all. He's, he's the jailer. It's an avoidable fight, but yeah, we might as well see it. You know, it's funny, the, the shoulder rush, they give you so much time to do it. Like when I do it, when I go down forward, I could, like, press A, like, two seconds later, and the move will still come out. It's very generous with the timing. Alright, we're gonna take his key. Of course, ideally, you want to solve puzzles to avoid battles. And there is a battle we can avoid. Let's go free some prisoners. But the prisoners are being guarded by a dog. And that dog's pretty tough, as we found out the first time we played this. But we can give him chicken. And then free the prisoners. Dog's just gonna eat that chicken. Avoid that fight. Oh no, there's a, a fracas going on out here. Well, we distracted the guards. And that lets us get out of Ingolstadt. Now we move on to the woods. A very mazy part of the game. Let's start off by heading to the east and get to the outlaw camp. Because they have items. You know, I saw- I watched the 90s movie, recently. It, it- it's similar. The game is similar in some ways, and very dissimilar in others. Like, this- this segment in the woods is in the movie. He does kill a landlord. The landlord is in the movie, and the creature does kill him. Mm. Eat some food. Like, they don't really have a fight scene. It's very quick. But there are some parts that just don't match up at all. Like, there is no... There is no hand-to-hand -hand fight between the creature and Elizabeth. We, uh, it's just weird. Why would that not... Why would the game just have invented that? The movie is a bit... The movie is goofier than I thought it was going to be. I don't know, I thought it was going to be like a darker, grittier version of Frankenstein. It's... Yeah, it's just, it's a goofier movie, I thought, than I thought it would be. Oh, 
not bad or anything. All right, here's the old woman's house. Here's the old lady, robbed by by ban by bandits. Give her back the necklace. She gives us cookies and a chicken. The chicken we're going to save for the wolf. The cookies are health. I'll save those until after I defeat the landlord. Because it might be, I don't know, it might be possible that I take the cookies and maybe I get another life, but, like, that, that new life has, like, one health bar. So, let's not take the cookies just yet. Now we're going to go to the southwest, to the barn. And in here, we're going to get the shears. And, of course, the manure. Now, I didn't actually use that the first time through. I didn't know where you, su where you should use this. Turns out it's an optional item. It barely makes things any easier. But there's something we can do with it. Let's now go to the southwest where we will find the old man's house and he's being harassed by the landlord. Dodge the spiders. Here's the wolf. So we give him the, don't get too close. Give him the chicken. There we go. Because that wolf messes you up. And go down from here. And here's like these weird big dragonflies. He doesn't want to go past, so we use the manure. Hope they like it better than I do. Now we can walk past them. I don't have to do that. I could just approach from the other side, but that's what that's what that's for. Here's the landlord. Blah 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 blah. Money, 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 money. Pumpkins. Taken to me. The creature's landlord slaying skills are still strong. Now let's rejuvenate ourselves. With a cookie. Mm. Feel a bit better. He was robbed by outlaws. Here's his lucky charm. He's gonna tell his wife about it. Let's take some pumpkins and a recorder. I can't play this thing here. Oddly, if I pick the pumpkin, he says this needs to be delivered to a house in Geneva. I don't know if you can do that. I, I've tried it. I don't know if you can actually deliver the pumpkin to a house. You carry the pumpkin to Geneva.
Like, you lose any other items aside from the pumpkin, but I don't know if you can actually deliver this thing anywhere. Let's get in. To Geneva we go. The city of Geneva with its rather aggressive music. It's aggressive, repetitive music. Now let's go into this house where we will be accused of being a son and given a coin to buy matches. That does not happen in the movie, oddly. Go to the general store. Buy matches. And you know, this general store, it's not doing nearly as well as the one in Ingolstadt. This is much smaller. There's rats all over the place. They have, like, nothing in stock. What's going on here? Hey, you know, this, this story, it's called the Modern Prometheus, right? Well, here you go. He's bringing fire. Take the key. Go, go through door? There we go. Go through door. go. Take the nails. Let's go to the house with the guy who doesn't know how to hang a painting. Else, There you go. Take coins. And take this really hard to see mouse trap. Thank you, sir. the general store we go to give her a rat trap even though she never uses the rat trap take this and I will take a coin we have three coins I'm going to use my coins to take these vegetables and deliver them to the Frankenstein Mansion. But before we go into the mansion, an old lady needs some help with her cat. gone. Where's the cat? Get the key. Into the backyard we go. Unlock the cellar. And here's the cat. In. The old lady will not talk to us, but she will thank us by giving us cake and flowers. Let us eat the cake. Mmm. And I'm pretty sure that cake is the last healing item in the game. So we now have all the health we will ever have. Groceries. Take the candle.
the flowers. Come on in. Use candle, open secret door. Father, son. I want waifu, dad. If you want waifu, son, you must go back to Ingolstadt, to where you were born, and get some stuff for me. Also, kill a man over a spool of thread, which we're gonna do now. I'll mind a spool of thread. See, I tried to leave. I tried to. I don't think you can avoid this fight. Stall owner was stymied by the shoulder rush. Now we go back to the creature's birthplace, Victor's old digs here in Ingolstadt. the spiders. Take the wall chart. Jar of body parts. Diary. There we go. That's everything we needed. That's, that's why the creature came all the way back here. Well, I'm sure there must be some valuable information in the journal that Victor had to have if he's going to do the experiment again. It's irreplaceable. And to get out, we need to go through Sewer Guard. I don't think you can avoid this fight either. Out we go, through the green, slimy sewers. Back to Geneva. One more thing we need. We use our coin to buy some iodine. Oh, we also pick up a very docile rat. Can't give the coins from over there. One bottle of iodine, please. It's good for brides. Speaking of brides, there is one coming up, isn't there?
Here is the very good guard dog. Let's use our our decoy rat. Dog is distracted. to meet us in the house until we reach the attic. It probably also would be a good idea to save right here because one time I went up these stairs and it's soft locked. It didn't, but it didn't happen now. This was fine. He's going to shoot us, but then, all right, then the real problem begins now. wins the first one. fight ends. We'll watch this anime, this scene. It's very well animated. So, something like this happens in the movie. Where where the doctor does bring Elizabeth back to life by Frankensteining her. Doesn't go exactly like this, though. But Kenneth Branagh does take his shirt off in the movie. You better believe that this man takes his shirt off in that movie. And then they go north. Alright, so this is where I stopped. Because I couldn't get past- I had very little health. I couldn't get past the sailor who fights us here. But I do have more health this time. We're gonna grab our lantern. Light up my life. Hello. Meet me on the ice. Okay. What a weird conversation that is. 
to open the door. We have to take the tarp and get the chickens to make noise. Hold on. Uh, here it is. That guy comes in. What's all this noise? It turns out we can just walk by him. We don't... We can just walk by him and walk on the deck. We don't even have to fight him. We just... Just walk past the guy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but we cannot walk past this guy. This is Sailor. He is also Sailor. We have to fight him. Sailor is no big deal. He has a harpoon, but he's slow. That's it for Sailor. But, he was just here to soften us up. There is one more fight for the creature. One more obstacle in his way. And we knew it would have to come down to this. The ultimate conflict between doctor and creature. You asked me, do you believe in evil? You are evil incarnate, wretched and hideous. I am what you made me. You have destroyed everything in this world that mattered to me. I created you. I must destroy you. The final battle. It's here, finally. Final victor. out Victor nowhere near as hard as Elizabeth it's hilarious how much harder Elizabeth is than everyone in the game except for Wolf you don't have to fight Wolf but Wolf is hard like Elizabeth is the hardest by far the hardest mandatory fight here's Liz we meet on the ice and there's one thing left to do in our adventure let's light this up Light up our life. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein for the Sega CD. A touching story. I mean, the way it ends is pretty different from that from the movie. I've never read the book, 
I don't know how the book ends. I assume it's not like that. I assume it's not, I assume that's it's not the creature and Elizabeth walking off into the Arctic. Um Congratulations, Dave Poe, on someone saying that you provided sarcastic comments. You I guess you annoyed someone in the dev team enough to get them to put you in the credits as that. Everyone on this, all the programmers have nicknames. All of them do. Mike, Mike Clark, Clark, handling the sound. And there's also extra sound. And Dr. Code, they got Dr. Code himself to work on this. Actually, Dr. Code, Gary Mercer, does a few things on this. And that's it. That's Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. I do think it's funny that the way they decide to change the story is that this now becomes, just like with a few tweaks and a few changes, this becomes a story of the creature deciding to search Europe for the strongest fighter in the world to defeat her and then marry her and live with her in the Arctic. It's not really... I didn't think that was the moral of the story. I didn't think that's how, thi that's, that's how things turn out, but um, that's how it turns out in the game. That's how it goes in this game. Ah, uh, so. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. You know, if I had played this game back when it was new, it's the kind of thing I would have been into. But at the same time, you look how short it is, and, you know, if I had bought this when it was new... I... Like, you're, you're finishing it real fast, you know? I, I probably would have felt... I mean, I would have enjoyed it. I would have played it multiple times. And clearly, you're meant to play it multiple times because it's entirely possible that you might not be able to finish the game because of health. Like, that's how the game is designed. For It's possible for you to just run out of health uh, before you finish. So, you're meant to play it more than once. But still... Still, if I had bought this when it was new, if I had played it, I would feel disappointed with how short it turned out to be. It would have been, it would have been a good rental. This would have been a good weekend rental from your Blockbuster for your Sega CD. But buying the game, eh. Mm. But all these years later, playing it now, I enjoyed it. I liked what this game was doing. It's weirdly, it's weirdly fun. I mean, the fighting is not good. You get used to it. You figure out what you're supposed to do in it. It's not a fun game. It's not fun fighting. It's not fun fighting. But I did appreciate the weirdness of having fighting segments in the middle of this adventure game of Frankenstein. It's just, it's weird. It's a game based on a movie, but it's barely about the movie. Like, there are elements of it that resemble the movie. But so much of the events of the movie are, like, changed around completely for this game. Why even make this a licensed game? I mean, as strange as it might sound... As strange as it might sound, in the movie... When the creature finds Dr. Frankenstein in Geneva, Frankenstein does not send him back to Ingolstadt to get his old stuff and come back. Like, that's not a part that happens in the movie. <laughs> but it is a big part of the game. But at least the landlord killing was indeed in the movie. Also, in the dialogue in this game... The creature mentions, I have done horrible things. I, I, I have this violent monster because of you. And if you're just playing this game, you might wonder, what are we talking about? The only thing the creature does is he does good deeds. Like he helps people out. Like he, he like buys matches for someone. He helps someone hang a painting. He like gives that the general store person a, a rat trap because they have the rat problem. 
He just, you know, he's, he finds an old lady's cat. He does such good things. He may have, like, killed someone over a spool of thread. He may have burned down the, the store owner's house, but he deserved it. He had it coming. But uh, the movie is a different story. He does some he does some bad things in the movie. So like when you get to the part where he's like talking about, you know, they're talking about how, oh, I'm an irredeemable monster. You know, there's there is more of a point to it. In the game, though, it's kind of you don't really know what he's talking about, though. And so much this intro of this like render, they're like panning around this render of like a metal coffin. Just goes on for a while. Just keeps going. You know in the movie? when Dr. Frankenstein first brings the creature to life, there's a scene where, well, I mean, the room is very wet. There's a lot of liquid anywhere. So there's a room with Kenneth Branagh, who is shirtless, is like attempting to pick up the dead weight Robert De Niro, who is completely naked, and they keep fa falling down on the wet floor, and just like, they're rolling around with each other, all wet and sparkling. And it's it's interesting scene. It lasts a while. Like, he just can't pick him up. Robert De Niro is completely dead weight in this scene, and Branagh is trying to pick him up as best as he can, but they're both wet and so slick and so slippery, and they keep falling down on the floor. I don't know if it was meant to be comical. I, I don't know what... I don't know what the vibe of the scene was meant, was meant to be. Uh, but, man... They sure do roll around with each other, and they're real wet. <laughs> you know, one of the options here is practice fights. You can only fight the, the mutant, and that's not really much of, much of some practice, though. Because, I mean, that really does not help you at all train for Elizabeth. Not at all. Well, anyway, I enjoyed Mary Shelley's Frankenstein for the Sega CD, the game based on the movie, based on the book, but only kind of loosely in both respects. Um, weirdly short. Something I can say I enjoyed because, hey, I didn't spend any money on it, right? If I did spend money on it, I don't know. I would feel like, eh, I don't know about that. I don't know. I feel like there maybe wasn't enough, maybe not enough content. That's very loud. Credit, credit music is very loud. Um, I like, like I said, I like playing it. I know the other Frankenstein games for the Super Nintendo and Genesis are completely different. Uh, I said previously that it's kind of surprising to see this game on the Sega CD because it seems much more like a game you would have seen on the PC, on DOS. No, this was a Sega CD exclusive. It didn't come out on anything else. Well, it was our... We, we experienced the story that Mary Shelley intended. She always intended for the creature and Elizabeth to get into a totally sick fist fight. And then Elizabeth dying, and then resurrecting, and the two of them getting married and living in the Arctic, because they are the two strongest fighters. It's always what she intended. And now finally this game is portraying her original vision. Uh, speaking of which, uh, speaking of Elizabeth, I, uh, in a, a previously, previous video, I made a joke about how I would imagine you could unlock a secret boss in the game, and it's Shin Elizabeth. So that inspired me a little bit to do a little drawing of what, what that might look like. Here's my, my little drawing. Here is Shin Elizabeth uh, approaching the creature. The creature is completely outclassed here. Um, and he, he doesn't know what he's gotten into. I 
I don't, I don't think he's. I don't think the creature is winning this one. But that is that's our playthrough of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. And now you know. Anytime I, anytime I experience any version of the story of Frankenstein, be it the original book or be it a movie. When Elizabeth Frankenstein shows up, I'm just going to imagine her doing sick rolls and uppercuts. And I'm wondering why, why isn't she doing that now? You know, every other interpretation of Elizabeth is clearly a downgrade. Clearly. 